Well hello guys, welcome to my second ever YouTube video. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Oh my god. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm using a new sort of screencast software. So, you know, can, can you see me okay? Can you hear me? Am I literally just wasting my time? Probably. Um, anyway, down to the nitty gritty. This is quite a basic sort of a tutorial today. Um, it may be you might learn something here today, or or you might say, Dan, just please go out, just go down the shops or something. Just, just this is so obvious, it's just ridiculous. But I'm just going to talk about um, my black and white photography workflow. Oh, lovely stuff. Okay, so basically. What I, I have a preset, which, hang on, cable issues. Sod off. Right, cable issues. Uh, um, I usually have a preset for black and white, um, but I'm not going to show that to you because it's divulging my secrets. Um, but I'm just going to show you how you can have a little more control over your black and white images. So, on a very basic level, I would never do this to start with, but it just gives you an idea as to what we're talking about here. All right, so click on black and white and it magically transforms to black and white. Now, some people just leave it at that or just they might add a bit of contrast, which is okay. Not my bag really. They might kill the highlights, might raise the shadows. You can fiddle around with the black point. Blah, 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 blah. But we're not gonna do that either. What I'm gonna show you is how color can affect the tones of your image which kind of gives your image a little bit more pop and a little bit more depth. That's what we're looking for. So to start with, have a fiddle around with the white balance. As you can see, just changing the white balance kind of changes the brightness of the image. You can go right down 2000. See the sort of skin tones and shirt tones are changing, um, which is quite exciting, isn't it? And then, so I'm just gonna sort of gonna go a basic sort of daylight uh, white balance to start with, and then just fill around with your sliders. So we've got the red slider. I find that it can adjust skin tone sometimes. If you look at his ear, this is a bit peculiar. It changes the color of his ear. So if you have an ear that needs changing color, well, you're sorted, aren't you? Um, so that's that one. Orange, you see their faces. Now we're sort of lifting the whites a bit because the light's sort of coming in from over here. You want to sort of accentuate the light and the shadows as well, really, to give this to make it sort of 3D effect. So I'm just going to lift that and then we go for yellow, a slightly more dramatic effect. It kind of raises, you can see, they're just popping out from the background there but we can do that more effectively in a minute. So I'm still looking at their skin tones. So that's yellow. If we go to green, there we go. Now you can go for a sort of light grass or bring it down a bit. I like to sort of bring it down a bit to make the subjects pop out. Maybe just change his ear color again. Oh, his ear is glowing. He's got a radioactive ear. Fantastic. Aqua never seems to still, but I'm talking, I'm talking out of my backside. Aqua's changing the colour of his shirt on the right here. So if you look at that, some tones changing there, it's quite nice. Blue again, so we're just gonna, again, just to sort of give it a bit of depth there. Okay, purple, not doing a whole lot really, and magenta I suspect wouldn't do a lot, no. So there you have it really, so I'm just gonna bring the yellows up. So, I'm going to show you before and after. Actually, no, that doesn't work because that's my other one. Oh, that's just ruined it, isn't it? So, using this concept, that's, this is what I'll do. This is probably better. Uh, I came up with this. This is my sort of black and white, bit more punch, blah, blah, blah. You can see the sliders over here. Oh, hide those. You can pause it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just everyone steals from everyone. Just just thieve away, I don't care. If you get famous off my preset, actually it's not even my preset, I'm gonna show it. 
So there we go, it just gives you a little bit more control over your image. So don't forget your colour sliders when you convert to black and white, as weird as it sounds. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any rude and abusive, I mean, any sort of nice comments in the comments below. And I will see you in probably another couple of years. Okay, cheers guys, bye.